and good evening sports fans. St. Lucia Kings are crowned champions of the Republic Bank Caribbean Premier League 2024. They beat the Guyana Amazon Warriors by six wickets last evening inside of Providence Stadium to capture their first ever title. Changing 138 for victory, Kings started early on, batting wasn't easy and the Kings were struggling at the halfway stage of the second innings. Chase was on 14 off 15 without a single boundary before he cut loose as he raced to a 22 ball 39 not out. Jo J J Jones also had a slow outing initially with 10 off 19 without a boundary, but he struck vital blows with the bat in the death overs and finished unbeaten on 48 off 31. Between them, Jones and Chase struck four fours and six sixes in their 88 run standoff for 50 balls to help the Kings reach the target in 18 points. Point one overs. Afi Fletcher spun her web and worked her wonder with figures of three for 22 as Scotland were restricted to just 99 for eight from their 20 overs, with West Indies reaching their target in 11 for four overs. With the damage done, Wendy's romped to a six wicket victory to secure their first win of the T20 World Cup in Dubai. Deandra Doughton, who came out of retirement to play in the tournament, rolled back the years with an explosive 28 not out from 15 balls and sealed the dominant win in style with a six. There were some nerves as the experienced duo of Stephanie Taylor and Haley Matthews fell early for four and eight respectively, but Kiana Joseph's 31 from 18 balls provided a much needed surge to lay the platform for Doughton. The win boosted their net run rate to 1.154 in preparation for Bangladesh on Thursday. And former Permanent Secretary and General Secretary of the Grenada Olympics Committee, Vida Bruno Victor, has been elected as the first Vice President of Pan Am Sports 2024. She was elected during the Pan Am Sports General Assembly held on Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 2024, in Paraguay. She's one of three Vice Presidents who've been elected, aiming to play a huge role within the continental sporting body, making her the highest ranking vice president. Notably, the Pan Am Sports vice presidencies have been divided into three groups with three members each in the respective group. GUT came away with a win in the last round of matches played in the GCIC Intersector Football Tournament, while Brewery and Radisson were forced to share points. Kendall Charles found the back of the net twice to complete his brace last Friday as GUT came with a 3-for-2 win over Titans. Leiden Cato was the other goal scorer for GUT. Jeff had also had a brace on the evening for the Titans. Meanwhile, Radisson found the back of the net twice. However, were forced to split the points with Kerry Brewery after the game ended one to one. Trevor Williams scored for Radisson and let's say in the spirit of customer service excellence, Nigel Smith scored and owned his own goal. <laughs> it must have been a happy hour. The tournament continues on Wednesday. And that's what's been happening in sports.